Hi everyone, um, I've just had a penny dropping moment and I need to capture it on camera and just, I don't know, just explain exactly what's happened. So first of all, I'll scan the kitchen because this kind of, well it's not really relevant but look at the mess. Bomb site. Okay, so the reason why I'm showing you my kitchen is because after my meal, so you all know about my September challenge and my fasting and, and my training pledge. That's not the issue, although I am finding myself counting more calories and weighing myself, which is disturbing uh, because I haven't done that in so long. Uh, but it's the, the reasons why I'm doing it which are niggling at me and the penny sort of just dropped today on the back of reading an article that Kelly Davis wrote on a guest post on Brett Contreras' blog and now the name of it has escaped me but I think it's along the lines of happiness um, in fact it's all about happiness um, and where you where we sort of uh, pinpoint what's going to make us happier and how we sort of measure that and how inaccurate our mind is and how it lies to us almost about where we're going to be happiest. And uh, this is the penny dropping thing, which was, well, my current state of mind isn't happy with how I look. And I've been using this goal of being in shape, better shape for this photo. And, you know, I'm going about it the whole opposite way. I'm looking back at a photograph of me back in, I think it was February or March this year, and I'm looking at it going, why can, why don't I look like that anymore? Why? What's happened? And yes, I've had a slump in training and stuff because of my back and uh, all of that, and uh, haven't really been monitoring what I eat. Not that I ever did, and that's probably why, I, you know, obviously I gained weight because I, I never felt the need to monitor it. Um, but the real reason is that when I look back at my mindset back in March of this year, the reason I was probably looking like that was because it was a side effect of actually being happy at that time. That's the important part. It's not wasn't because of how I looked at the time was the reason why I was happy at the time. The reason I was happy at the time was because I was in that time. I wasn't looking forward into the future at some image that I might want to be or looking back and saying, I wish I looked at that again. I genuinely was working through um, a lot of different things that were happening at the time. And I was on a, a very condensed journey from um, stress and actually verging on depression, which is why I was off work for three months. At the time and from that three months I went through a journey um, which was quite amazing looking back at it and I'm so glad it happened but I read the book The Secret and then I went on and read The, the Power and I read uh, uh, Secret Things of God, The Battlefield of the Mind, lots of different books on positive thinking and gratitude and um, basically being grateful for what you have right now instead of um, you know, flagging your, your happiness some way off in the future, that's what you have to reach before, you know, you can be happy, which is a complete illusion because the, the future doesn't exist, never will, and the past is gone and it'll never be back. So you only ever have right now. And uh, if you're off imagining, like right now, I was finding myself looking at the picture going, because somebody had emailed me to ask me for a photograph and uh, you know, for a campaign they're doing on you know, st uh, strength, you can be strong and feminine and stuff. So I was, I was looking at a picture that would be suitable for that. And I looked at it and I thought, why, you know, I wish I really, really wish I looked like that again. Like, and then, you know, at the time I was chomping down a bit of, uh, actually it was a pecan and maple syrup uh, Danish. But, and I was thinking, hmm, maybe this is why I don't look like that. But it's not because this is exactly the same eating behaviours as I had back then. The only difference was that I didn't consider, you know, I wasn't going, oh, I need to get lean, I need to get lean. I need to look like that, I need to look like that. And I'm right now in this September, I'm going to confess, I just think my mind has been lying to me and making me come out with all this stuff about I need to be leaner. And it's making me contradict everything that I've been preaching 
on my blog for the last two and a half years and I've just come out and said that I need to be leaner when all I've said over the last two years is you don't need to conform to an image of fitness. You, you know, there isn't one look for beauty and strength and you should be happy with your own journey and uh, you know where you are now basically which is what I've said and I'm surprised actually at myself because I, I didn't even realize it until right now that that's how contradicting I was um, so basically I've been full of crap and talking about you know looking a certain way when in actual fact when if I look at myself right now without comparing myself to anyone else or the past or what I want to be in the future I'm actually pretty happy at that and this is actually what my September pledge should be is to learn to appreciate everything that I can do and how I look and all the things I've achieved in the last um, well in the last two years I feel great I have a lot of things in my life that to be grateful for and that's sort of the things you should focus on not I think looking back at the image is almost encouraging you to be ungrateful for how you are right now because you're like Neh. I'm never I don't look like that and you know to be honest even if you if I did look like that right now I probably wouldn't even know it I probably still think I look better back then it's all about your mindset so that's really what I've been thinking I hope I haven't waffled on too long but um, I encourage you to leave your feedback. The um, article I was talking about that Kelly Davis wrote, I'll provide a link to that on my blog post where this video will be embedded. And uh, you know, you may as well just go and read that. Um, and uh, well, I was going to say save yourself watching this, cause, but obviously you've watched it, so I was going to say buy a waffle for seven minutes. Um, so there we go, and I'll just leave you with my bomb side of a kitchen. I made out like that, I just cooked that, and in actual fact, it's last night's meal. No, it's not. <laughs>